Well, I guess that stuff really wants to burn. I put it out before I left, but it didn't stay out, did it? Hmm. Well, I didn't leave it anywhere where it would set anything out so far. Okay then, things are kind of smoldering. I, uh, those things, those little pieces of press board or whatever that is, it was underneath that ice box. Uh, they got caught on fire when I cut the metal out of that with a grinder. The sparks caught them on fire and they will not stop burning. I've put them out three or four times and they just keep smoldering. So I just decided, okay, I'm going to let them smolder till they burn out, I guess, because I can't make them stop burning. So anyway, I uh, moved this around there. I couldn't get the, uh, the other grill over in it. But in looking at this one, I did straighten out the feet. That one was all out of whack over there. This one's too short. The thing don't sit level. So I'm just going to weld a bolt right here just to make it sit level. I think I'm going to go inside here and just paint everything with... I got some Rust-Oleum uh, primer. Rust primer. Rust coat primer. And I'm going to cut loose all the little gizmos and doodahs that are hanging on the bottom of these with the idea that I can put a flat floor in this and uh, sit one of the grills over in here. I looked at both of them. I got two grills. I got the old one out back and it'll fit in there pretty easy. Then I got the new one out front that would fit in there with some modification. And uh, I think before I even worry about it, first thing I'm going to do is just uh, fix that so it's level primer coat all the inside of it, uh, rust coat everything inside. Now I may scrape the outside so I can put a nice pretty coat of paint on it and I've uh, been already talking to Stan about getting him to help me paint it up but uh, well I think I'm gonna, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing more than anything else right now. Well, it makes a huge difference in your heat in your uh, welding if you have the right heat setting. So, not only did I tack a little spacer on this side, but this leg over here was hanging loose, and I tacked it down on both sides. Uh, this is what I did with a stick welder. Somebody said the other day, "Well, you can't weld thin metal with a stick welder." You'd be surprised how much you can weld if you can get the temperature to go down right. Uh, I've welded a lot of thin metal with a stick welder and gotten away with it over the years. I couldn't do it the other day because that thing temperature wouldn't turn down on it, but it's good now. And uh, that was a good weld right there. I mean it felt good. It felt like I was it felt good to be able to weld thin metal like that with a stick welder. That's something I like. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over now and see if she sits nice and level. Yeah, there's no wobble at all. A while ago it was wobbling like a three-legged stool. So that's just good and level. A lot of this old metal in here could stand to be just coated down with something. I've got some poor 15, but I've also got some uh, some of this stuff. It's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, my got a hardware store it says it's very similar to poor 15. I got some poor 15 too I could use on it. But I think it'd be good to give it a coat of something all inside. You know what I might do is take my wire brush and just scrape off all the paint on the outside. Paint it bright red and then get Stan to letter it up for me. And uh, I'll go ahead and 
scrape all these things out of the floor. I've got bolts and things like that down here that keep uh, anything from sitting level on that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put a level kind of floor in there. That's sort of the plan. Okay, we'll call that a good start, and then we'll come back to this another day. My main goal with this is just to prime, just get some primer all over everything inside the box. So there.